Hi folks, this is Quabino with OpenMV, and today I just wanted to show off our new support for the FLIR boson. Uh, we've made an adapter module for the FLIR boson that allows your OpenMV Cam H7 Plus and RT1060 uh, to, along with newer OpenMV Cam models, to stream images from the FLIR boson. So the FLIR boson is a 640 by 512 pixel uh, thermal sensor, uh, but the best part is it runs at 60 FPS meaning you actually have high-speed thermal tracking. So, uh, for example, uh, it can easily track things like this. As you can see, the blob tracking is able to keep up with the wand and track and see where that flame is as I move around. Uh, it's super awesome in that way. You actually have high res of my chair, being able to see the flame there, track it around, all right. Um, so this is a new, really awesome sensor that will allow you to use your OpenMV Cam in you know, more professional, um, critical applications and actually do some real work in the world uh, for all kinds of stuff. Uh, we've seen people uh, use this sensor for measuring uh, like oil tanks outdoors and things like that because thermal can actually see heat gradients um, through walls and things like that. So it's a super, super useful sensor for all kinds of applications. Um, anyway, so uh, yeah, with the default support from our new uh, FLIR boson driver, uh, you basically get the 8-bit uh, AGC image here, and then from that you can easily do blob tracking or TensorFlow or whatever other computer vision algorithms that we have on board the OpenMV Cam and leverage the system to your will. Um, now you can also recolor that grayscale palette. Um, we allow you to apply the iron bow palette, and so if you do that, now you've got your standard FLIR iron bow looking image, and you can run with that to do it if you like. Um, of course, uh, you know, you're processing the image at the VGA resolution, so there's going to be uh, a little bit of delay there from the system having to JPEG compress this image, stream it over to the computer, and also do the processing. Uh, but with the RT1062, uh, you can see we're still able to hit a, a nice 17 FPS there or so. And then if we were to disable the frame buffer, uh, just to kind of remove that load from the system, uh, it's going to run at, let's see, do, 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 um, about 24 FPS or so. Um, obviously, of course, you know, you want to keep everything in grayscale for your actual application if you don't need color. Uh, that way you can just save the processor some work that it doesn't need to do. But you still have Iron Bow for uh, creating those nice looking images and, and getting that, you know, presentation that can pop and such. Uh, anyway, so yeah. Uh, this is a new awesome adapter board that we're going to be selling for the OpenMV Cam and really brings our support for FLIR's Lepton product and the Boson product uh, to the market. Uh, so we can, you know, really support any of these cool thermal cameras so you can do all kinds of great stuff. Uh, anyway, uh, so thank you for watching. Uh, that's all. All right. And here's some more me tracking this uh, wand around. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay. All right. Bye, y'all.